Starlink is once again helping people following a natural disaster, this time after those deadly tornadoes in Kentucky. This is not the first or second time that I've reported about Starlink assisting after deadly events like this. Five. If you'll remember back when there was flooding in Germany, Starlink was able to help those people communicate during that time and also after wildfires in Washington state. And these are just like a handful of examples. In partnership with FEMA and the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service, SpaceX has already provided 20 Starlink kits to these hard hit communities. Another 40 kits have been requested by the state of Kentucky. They are expected to arrive soon. Now this is all thanks to the initiative of a SpaceX employee. Austin Marshall, who is a Kentucky native and a SpaceX engineer, helped organize this gift. He wrote in this newspaper, I like coming back home, but I wish the circumstances were better. I'm the one who put it all together. I saw there was a need. This is the first time it's been in Kentucky and they just turned on this area because of the disaster. And and those kits will be there and activated for at least two months, but it could end up being longer. I also wanted to talk about the fact that SpaceX will be and is launching its second set of Starlink satellites from the West Coast. They will be launching a stack of 52 Starlink satellites on one of their Falcon 9 rockets. This will be the third Falcon rocket launch since mid-September from Vandenberg. Now, one of those launches was, of course, the first Starlink mission from the West Coast, but we also saw DART, the double asteroid redirection test satellite that was launched for planetary defense purposes, and that was pretty exciting as well. And after this Vandenberg launch, SpaceX aims to have at least two more launches, although from Cape Canaveral before the end of the year. And this is the 28th Falcon 9 mission for SpaceX so far in 2021. So they have set a new company record for the most rocket launches in a year. If all goes as planned, they hope to launch 30 rockets just this year. Imagine what 2022 is gonna look like. Saturday's mission will bring the total number of Starlink satellites launched to 1,944. This will also help SpaceX cover users in higher latitudes. And this flight marks another reuse milestone for SpaceX. This is the 11th time one of their boosters has flown. So again, this is the first time that a booster will have been flown 11 times. And it was only back in 2015 that SpaceX recovered its first booster. So they're making great progress. I also spoke to another YouTuber. You may be familiar with him. He goes by Dave Lee and he has his channel focused on investing, but he's also really invested in Tesla. Literally, he went all in in 2012 and he's also very interested in SpaceX and Starlink. And I asked him when he thinks we could see Starlink IPO. And this has never happened before. Never in the history of the world has the poorest of the poor had have had have had access, you know, as a as a group, to something like the like internet. Like the internet still hasn't pro fulfilled that promise for the poorest of the poor. But Starlink is the key that can make that happen, and that's why it's going to be the most revolutionary thing to happen. Pro maybe even. I won't say ever, but at least in my lifetime, you know, for the poorest of the poor. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, one of the reasons why I'm super excited about it. Yeah. Right. And so you're thinking about two years from now. I feel like I've heard yeah. some estimates that are a little sooner. Yeah. Yeah. It just seems like they need Starship up and running to yeah. get like a good, you know, bunch of Starlink version twos up there, their, their satellites, you know, and prove it out. Because right. uh, their version one is great, but they're so limited. It seems like on, yeah. like, they, they they aren't able to handle much traffic. Like if they're like, a bunch right. of people in one area, you just can't use it. You know. Right. Um, but the it next version, cool. hopefully, yeah, next version hopefully will fix most of that. By the time it IPOs, is is everyone gonna know about it? And it's gonna be like not as, not as big of a deal as I think it might be. Yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the risky part because um, it depends on also the state of the market. For example, like Robinhood um, went IPO, you know, several months ago and the market was pretty hot 
and um, the stock went up to like 80 bucks or something and now it's like 17 bucks um, and so yeah something like that could happen with Starlink if you know the mood of the market is really in- exuberant and the market shifts you know it could take it down on the flip side it, the market p- could be just kind of not that exuberant at that time and you know Starlink could IPO at a reasonable price and you know that's another scenario so it's going to be tricky yeah if you know like how much you get and what you get my my strategy is yeah if it feels like too exuberant too bubbly i'll just get i'll just get some not a ton of you know as much as i want and i'll just kind of be patient for some type of drop hope that you enjoyed that update and i hope that you have a great weekend thank you so much for watching ellie and space I so appreciate all of the support. It really means a lot. And I really want to thank my Patreon supporters. Your support means so much. It's been great to watch the channel grow and your support gives me that momentum to continue that path. Thanks for watching.